This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good? How are you, how are you? What up? <laughs> Yo, we're in the building, bro. Episode 53. What's up? Hello, hello. Everybody, what's good? Let's get it. We hyped. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, uh, it reminded me of the Master P. Make it say, oh, 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 yeah, we yeah, have yeah. young viewers, bro. They're not yeah, gonna know we what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Javers is like, <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Anyway, I just want to say what's up to everybody that's in the chat, and what's up to everybody that's viewing the episode after the live stream. We are here. We are now. My name is Larry Lawrence Seb, and this is that One Piece talk where we talk One Piece. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you to everybody that's in here. Oh, much love to you. I want to get straight to this chapter because it is the last chapter for the next four weeks. That's and crazy. basically, I want to let you guys know what's going on. So for announcements, I want to start off with our newest addition to the Mod Center, Sebastian, in Discord. So Sebastian, <laughs> you want to... Yeah, man. Uh, we really, really are excited to announce that we decided to promote Roa Noah Chris with an X to the status of mod. We announced it in the Discord. We wanted to announce it on YouTube. So he, it, he's going to be a great addition. The guy does so much for us uh, yeah. already in the Discord. And he's in every episode. He's the man, man. I mean... Zoro fandom, you know, fanboy status along, aside. Yo, Zoro boy's up, bro. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's all I know, bro. But I'm, it's a pleasure to have him, man. We got to yeah. link one day, Chris. We got to link soon. Yeah, here we go, bro. <laughs> That's like his Here we go. Here we go, yo. <laughs> so the next thing I wanted to announce, too, uh, is that so our next episode is going to be two hours long, and we're going to take straight phone calls. Okay. After oh. that episode, okay, so next week episode is all phone calls only. The episode after that is when we're going to do our power scaling of the top 30, and we're going to finish that, okay? that's that. I'm going to discuss with Marv if we can do it for two hours or not, but we'll talk. So we'll let you know about that as well. But that's definitely going to happen after the calling episode. But other than that... I don't have any other announcements. So if you can please like the video, subscribe if you aren't subscribed. If you want to subscribe to us uh, through membership, you can do so on YouTube, but also do it through the Discord app or through the Spotify app. So spread the love, share us as much as possible if you can. It only makes us bigger and better and it creates our, it makes our pirate crew even that much bigger. So Nakama. thank you, thank you, thank you, Nakama. But anyway, Marv, can you please hit the sponsorship so we can get into our show? This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe you're having trouble sleeping, difficulty with a relationship, or just struggling from low self-esteem. Listen, I've been there. We've been there. If so, then today's BetterHelp wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private, online environment at your own convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000-plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire, simple as that, to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule a secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. I happened to sign up at one point regarding my confidence issues. Next thing you know, my confidence issues are not issues anymore. I'm doing pretty well in that area. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced better help therapist. Special offer goes out to all that One Piece Talk listeners. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash T-O-P-T. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash T-O-P-T. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. 
<laughs> Yo, I'm muted. They, they I'm muted. He's the one that said it. Yeah. He's the one that said it. He's the like, yo, silence your phones. <laughs> and then his phone rings <laughs> off. It rang off during the ad. We good. No. <laughs> They heard it. it. They heard it in their soul. Yeah, we calling you out. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's get into it, guys. So, this chapter has no cover story, but instead there was a color spread. It was really cool. It's of the One Piece Odyssey game. Uh, If you look at it, Parvision actually said the guy with the white hair looks like Momonosuke and. I forgot who had white hair. Oh, King. It looks like King and Momonosuke put together. Mm-hmm. But I did notice, if you check in the color spread, that that guy's gun on the butt, there's a sun insignia. And I know that Oda does a lot with suns and moons. Mm-hmm. And a rainbow. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. It, it's, a, it's, it's from the One Piece Odyssey game. So there's no cover story. But let's get into the chapter. It looked dope, though. Yeah, it did. I liked it. So this chapter starts off with the girl say, They're complaining about a picture not being approved. Also, that they wanted the D to be removed off the name. Yeah. (laughs) Good one, Marvin. (laughs) It cuts to Morgan, and he's delighted by the news he's received. Morgan also explains that Cypher Pole vanished after they saw Big Mom's ship. Uh, Then we see the shock of everyone's faces around the world of Kaido and Big Mom's defeat. Also, the reveal of three new bounties. Law, Kid, and Luffy all have a shocking 3 billion berry bounty with updated pictures, and Luffy's picture is of him in Gear 5. What are your thoughts about this news? And we'll start with Sebastian. Heartbroken. Because <laughs> my theory was wrong. <laughs> Yo, it aged like milk, bro. Yo, Yo you got to take it down, bro. Nah, I'm leaving, I'm leaving it up. I'm leaving it up because the world needs to know what should have happened. Okay? But... I mean, it was it was a cool like reveal. Um, I I am, I know I I cape for Kid a lot. Mm. I am diametrically opposed to Kid having the same bounty as Luffy. That is disrespectful. <laughs> no. that, that I can't I can't even. Yeah. Like I troll a lot. Yo, you can't do that, bro. <laughs> like what? In what world? In what world is Kid the same threat level of Luffy? Now That's it seems like... as though they were trying to downplay Luffy's overall encompassing threat. By like they're trying to hide the D in his name and choose a different pictures, so maybe the reporting is such that it's downplaying it in in, in that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you downplayed it, bro, like like even if you told me that Luffy jumped Kaido or something, like he got help from Yamato or whatever or whatever happened, yeah, just looking at what they have, looking at what they what they've done mm-hmm. in general yeah. overall, like I and Law too. Like, I know I'm saying kid right now, Law too. But look, like Law got his Dell fruit. Yeah, Law's and a stuff. one-man army. Like you know, he has his Dell fruit, which is already bounty like route. You know, so mm-hmm. I wasn't. I was still mad at any at it, at it in general. Mm-hmm. And people in the Discord trying to tell me, oh well, it's the narrative of like the three being equal to the two previous Yonko. And I'm like, yo, nah, bro, miss me with that. Yeah. <laughs> like Luffy deserves better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like kid, one kid in Law don't deserve three billion. Period. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. they just to me they didn't. Yeah. And. Luffy, come on, bro. Like, I know I said five billion, and maybe five billion's too much. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I still think it was it was would be valid for him mm-hmm. to have five billion. Yeah. But same as Kid in Law, bro. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I was tight. I was tight. Like, for me to be wrong is one thing. For it to be this, like, nah, bro. How? Based on what? Yeah. Yo, they see in Marv's arm. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> this guy Mar, bro. He said, "Oh damn, Mar, Mar's arm about to get a bounty, bro." For real. <laughs> but no, nah, I get you though. Nah, bro. I get you. I was, bro. I was a little tight. You're a little tight. I was okay. A tight. I was a little tight. Tight, tight like a tiger. Toy. Toy in the chest. Tight. <laughs> what about you? What about you, Lo? What about you, Lo? So wait, I got a question. Though. Would you have accepted if Luffy was still five billion? Would you accept their three billion? Like, I'd feel better about it. Like. Plus, wait, do y'all think Luffy's two billion dollars worth more than Kid and Law? I I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I do. See, I get what you're saying. I always felt like five billion would be too high this early for Luffy. I always just felt this that. early, bro. We this a thousand early. chapters in. I just took a Yonko out. Yeah, but you got to think, right? I understand that. But think of right, five billion, right? That's close to Gold Roger, who it was Pirate King, uh-huh. and Whitebeard. 
You know, that's close to them. And Luffy's already there, and he hasn't even... He just became a Yonko, just announced. So you're trying to say before he even became a Yonko, $5 billion, in a way. Because he was just announced. So at the title, he got $5 billion, uh, five billion. he's a Yonko. And who had the strongest two people, right, in the show is Gold Roger and Whitebeard. He's already at their level of bounty. But it's not about the strength. It's about their threat level. Luffy okay. poses a bigger threat and then even Whitebeard, low key. Like Whitebeard has That is not true. Yo! Yeah. You he it. has the Nika nah. fruit. They literally I'm, said, yo, this fruit changes the game. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like we can't yeah. allow this knowledge to be out okay, there. Okay, you, one, you're right. Two, you're wrong. Yeah. Bro. Why? Because Whitebeard could literally be like on another island and just send a tidal wave and just destroy an entire island. Yo, I understand the what y'all are saying. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But Whitebeard, his actions, what he does, how not reckless that he is, we just talked about this in Discord. He's his bounty is what it is because of how great he is. Luffy is actively way more reckless than Whitebeard is with this Del Fruit, with multiple pony glyphs in his possession, and Robin to read that like there's more to it than just strength. Like, Luffy is a bigger threat to the world government being collapsed mm. than Whitebeard was. He is. He literally is. I, I, and I, and even I can in agree. My, even, in my, even in my, like, my bounty theory, it was like, I still had him below Whitebeard at $5 billion, Right? Because of the math. Again, it was all math-based. But I still had him below Whitebeard out of respect. Mm. Right? Because you can still hit the $5 billion and not surpass Whitebeard. Out of respect. I'm just saying, why is Bounty lower than Kaido? What do you mean? Why? He, he's a bigger threat than Kaido was right now to me. Well, if you want to go this way, especially for example, I got a lot of things to say. Yeah, I'm saying because they go. they believe that they could just they could still take Luffy out even with this. They don't have Kaido because Luffy's not around. a physical monster like they were. Exactly, he get in there. Yeah, but he's not there. No, no, yet. No, 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 no. He's just not a physical mm. monster. He he, he just there. has gifts that Yo. make him a monster. But again, bounties be, it goes beyond just strength. I understand the strength of major what you're factor. I know what you're but saying. But like for him, that, put this way, he can now compete at levels that they can compete at, right? And he has every other box checked, like every other damn that it would suck if somebody had that. Okay, so all together so in hold one on, person, on. So let in me one ask, crew. So let me ask you this, Big Mom, she has put in right. Mm -hmm. She has the ability. They don't know yet to unlock her three-eyed gift to read a pony glyph. Correct? Yes. What was Big Mom's bounty in comparison it to Whitebeard's? It was. It was still four billion. It was off by what? What was Big Mom's bounty off by? Like seven hundred million? Hold on, but Whitebeard doesn't have anybody that can unlock. Unlock and read a pony glyph. He doesn't even have a pony glyph. Mm. So by your definition, she should be more dangerous and have a higher bounty than Whitebeard, but she doesn't. I dis no, no, because she isn't as great a pirate as Whitebeard was. You know what I'm saying? She's not. And again, I even said, I even said in my video, he wouldn't get to the point where he's beyond <laughs> Thank you, Whitebeard Celestia. yet. I'm just saying I just I just feel like three billion is too low. Again, I think I, I think I called checkmate on you. But no, you did it. <laughs> read, read that real quick and then let Lawrence respond. Uh, yeah, uh, we got a, night, a twenty dollars super chat from Celestial Doggy. It says, "Kid, one point five billion max." Hashtag kid is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I support Celestial I, I, so much. Also, thank you for the twenty. One point five sounds about right for kid. Yeah, to me personally. Lawrence, are you finished yet? Uh, okay. So what I want to say is, <clears throat> so to me, it's, it's interesting that they want to take off. They hide. They want to hide the D in Luffy's bounty. Mm -hmm. Like wanted poster now. Yeah, they've never concerned about hiding it before because they had it up on there all the time. So I'm thinking, why do they want to so hide it now, mm -hmm. right? And they talk about that picture. So now I'm linking the picture with the D name, mm -hmm. hey, right? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I think the fact that people could be able to recognize who that form is, mm -hmm. that form is the Sun God, and now you're like the the, the Sun God. Is in the with the family with the D, right? Mm -hmm. The family D always means danger. They've always been weary of the D. So they wanted to hide that picture and that D name from coming out together. Yeah. So it makes me think of like I don't know if the yeah, pre special put your phone here. My bad. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't hit it. Yeah. <laughs> this is how Shanks feels. <laughs> mm. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I'm thinking with that. I want, I'm thinking there's a tie into like Joy Boy and the Sun God. Was Joy Boy a D? Was he part of the D clan? 
mm-hmm. you know? And did he have the, because uh, with Zunisha linking it to Joy Boy, with his, so like, the, the the meaning with the the D name because they they didn't care about Luffy at all about his because they were like Monkey D Luffy all the time. Luffy had like what? How many wanna posters before this? Six. Six. Now on the seventh one, I guess you want to hide it. You want to hide his full name. Mm-hmm. Not like people are gonna they're gonna gonna forget about it because he's got another one, an old wanna poster. So why is why is it so important now? To me, it has to do with something like linking those two. Thank you. It has to do with those two link. Because mm. they're, they're stretching out the picture with that name, mm. right? And then now, like, uh, I like the rebelliousness of the um, of Mork. Because before he was always riding in with the uh, with the rings, like he would, I guess, point out whatever they wanted, mm-hmm. right? But he's like, nah, I want the truth out. It's more entertaining that way. You can't. This story's too big to, for you guys to cover up, you know. So that's awesome. So in the bounties wise, uh, I'm just gonna so I can let you go, Larry. Uh, I feel like three billion matches Luffy's where he's at. Um, I can see, I can see why they gave it all round, rounded because it's like they all together they unite as an alliance, and mm-hmm. these are three captains, right? And that they didn't view anyone as captor over them. Like it wasn't like Luffy the captain under uh, and with Kid and Lil underneath them. So rounding out all three hundred uh, three billion bounties makes sense. But do they fully deserve it? I can see why it could be a little lower, like maybe. Highest two billion or like one point five, you know, for a kid or whatever, or just for both of them. But I can see why they get rounded out for three because in this way, no one they didn't show that each one got top billing, as in that case, because all all three of them to take out a Yonko, you know, and Luffy didn't fully do it by himself because he had a lot of help. Mm. And same with Kid and Law, where they legit fought a, a Big Mom mm-hmm. by the, just them two. You know? All right, but yeah, go ahead, Larry. What do you think? Uh. I do think it's weird that the Gorosei are complaining about the picture, regardless of what it is, because uh, Luffy has been pretty popular for a while now, mm-hmm. and he does have six bounty posters, and they all say D on them. Right. So it definitely has something to do with Gear 5, but I don't get the correlation to people knowing what Gear 5 or Nika might be, yeah. unless there's something, somebody or a group out there that can benefit from that info, and I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. So I'm not too sure. I, I do get concerned about how come Morgan continuously opposes the government <laughs> so often and how he gets away with it. Yeah. And it makes me think Yeah, is, Uncle Morgan's. Yeah, is Morgan probably like a like a celestial dragon who ate a Zoan ability to some degree? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But it is interesting to think about. There's one thing that did change uh dialogue wise for Morgan and it was about the Big Mom Pirates. And we got confirmation that Cypher Pole is has vanished ever since they saw the Big Mom Pirates ship. So that was different from the TCB scans. Mm-hmm. So the official translation for from Viz happens to be very quite different from the TCB scans, and I kind of went over it on our Twitch. So it was pretty good to find out. Then uh, uh, Parvision linked up with Sai, who's another One Piece content creator, and Sai pointed out that there's this one panel within uh, a city that's finding out the news about Kaido and Big Mom's defeat. And there's a memorial picture of Sabo with a revolutionary flag. And Parvision said that Sai said that city was saved by Sabo and they feel sad about it. And it's not like a a picture saying that he died or whatever because there's a revolutionary flag, which means that they probably saved that city. Mm -hmm. And the chimneys on those buildings are damaged. So it, it looks like that city saved itself from its oppressors and Sabo helped out Mm -hmm. which is nice um I do find it interesting that it goes back to what Roger said so Roger says something during like chapter 576 I think when he was talking to Whitebeard he said do you know what the government is calling me nowadays and he said nowadays meaning that he was called a gold D uh, gold D Roger at one point but then they changed his name to gold Roger so I think that's what the government was trying to do right. to mm-hmm. Luffy. Mm-hmm. So they were probably going to call him Monkeyed Luffy. <laughs> Monkeyed. Yeah. Sluffy. And, yeah, and what's crazy is I tried to research uh, Roger's bounty previously to see if there was any other wanted posters. But we didn't get his wanted poster until chapter 957, yeah. like page 17. And then we got yeah. his bounty number under it. And mm-hmm. it said Gold D Roger. Roger. So they must have changed it at the very mm-hmm. end, and they tried to do that with Luffy. Uh, And then we go to the bounties, right? So, obviously, I'm the biggest kid slanderer here, right? (laughs) I don't think much of him. I still don't think much of him. But I will say this. I do think that his bounty itself should be at least 2.1 billion. 
I think Law's bounty wow. should be 2.4 to 2. Point, I think 2.4 is fair. And then I think Luffy should have been 3 billion or 3.2 billion, but it should not be higher than Kaido's. That's just my take. Mm -hmm. Because of the Nika fruit, Kinda because of everything that Sebastian said that he has, plus yeah. the army, Law's ability should be affected also by his influence, his money, yeah. his territories, and his crewmates. Who he has money? on crew. I don't know. <laughs> He's a doctor. No, I don't know. But it's like it's like for example, right? Like <clears throat> When you have people that are under you that are also strong, they should also boost your bounty. Mm -hmm. And if we look at Law, Law doesn't have anybody, right? He's just a one-man army, but his Devil Fruit's like top five. And then we have Kid, who has Killer, but anybody else is just not there. And Killer, I mean, Kid hasn't really been impressive. So it's like, what do they have? But I really didn't like the Kid bounty too much, him being three point, you know, three billion, because he has the highest increased in bounty out of all one piece pirates of all time so Has he? yeah his bounty went from 470 million right berries to 3 billion berries that's like a 2.53 billion increase because it was what, i guess was blackbeard loss? right what was loss i forgot what loss was 500 million yeah wow. So it's like the, the <clears throat> highest increase ever. So yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, but, I thought it was Blackbeard, but yeah, you're right. The yeah. Math is, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but anyway, let's go to the next question. Word. So next we see Kid. Oh, no, no, we got a super oh, chat. Oh, yeah, we did get a super chat. What was it? It was from Peter. Yeah, we got a $5 super <laughs> chat from Peter Keenan. <laughs> Peter hey. said, Seb had us all full of Luffy's bounty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I led y'all straight. Peter, uh, thank but, you. Uh, but Kid and Law don't deserve $3 billion. I agree with you. Yeah, thank Neither you. of them do. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. So next we see Kid. He notices the bounties and heads to the celebration in the flower capital. We see Jinbei by himself in the dining hall, enjoying himself. Yamato, Luffy, and Chopper are having a blast and enjoying the festival. Brooks playing Moon Princess with Hiori. Tengu Yama goes to the basement of the castle and sees uh, Robin snooping around. He tells her he was imprisoned in this room for years, and this is the room he kept his hobbies a secret. She replies that she thought he was a blacksmith. He then tells her ruling a kingdom could be so tiring and takes off his mask to reveal to her that he is Momonosuke's grandfather, Kozuki Sukiyaki, Odin's father. She asks him if Momo knows, and he replies no, but perhaps his vassals are aware. How could he dare go public and declare his survival when Wano's fall was his fault? He thought about committing seppuku many times. Robin tells him she's sure Pluton is here because the Poneglyph on Alabasta said that so. Sukiyaki replies, it is. Tell me what's on your mind about this new info we found out about Lawrence. I was shocked. I was like, <laughs> "What? You're over I was that, I was, We talked about honest. this on the pod once. No? Yeah, we, we did. did. We, we did. talked about the Poneglyph, but not knowing what it meant. No, no, no. Even he, him being Sukiyaki. Oh, well, yeah. So I didn't. I didn't pay attention to him. That was so a theory for the a dolls. Bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the dolls, right? I wasn't paying attention to that, and <laughs> whoever called that, yo, they paid attention to detail because that's I was not thinking that at all. I was shocked. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. But then I'll say I had some kind of gripes with it. Only not that he's uh <laughs> thank you. Not that he's a uh, um that he's alive or whatever. But in a way I I'm I'm kind of viewing him as weak. And we just established beforehand how strong Odin's body is. Mm -hmm. Right? And that even Momo inherited that strong body. That he's gonna if he just trains you to be a strong samurai one day. Mm. What happened with Odin's father? Like, I mean, I'm just like, where did Odin get that strong body from then? Because they talk about like I was just rereading back, and it said at the age of two, Odin's strong body was able to catch two hares, like rabbits, how fast they run. At the age of two, at the same time, two I rabbits. Mean, I mean, Big Mom's parents wasn't nobody. Yeah, Big that's what Lionel like, was happens, saying. But bro. yeah, Sabo's dad wasn't anybody. It, uh, it happens. Bro. I guess, but like, we're gonna Don't Flamingo's dad wasn't. But he's anybody. also a warrior. He carries a yeah. sword. He's you know? a he's a shogun in a long line of shoguns. Yeah, I don't know. And they're man. they're they're like celestials. They're passed down power. I guess so. But like, I'm just saying. No, that is true. That Big Mom's parents weren't, and like you, that happens sometimes in One Piece. But then, 
I don't know. It's just because they just they just just gave it to Momo without mm-hmm. any work, but mm-hmm. his grandfather didn't, doesn't have any strength, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like I don't know. I just it just kind of bothered me that he should have been stronger, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. And the fact that like pretty much uh, and he said he came back where and also too you're not gonna tell Momo that you're alive, like and I don't think the vessels the vessels will say something if they do. I I think so. Like I believe yeah. he should say something to Momo, right? Because like be there for him. Mm-hmm. You weren't. You weren't there for the country before, and that's not necessarily your fault because you got you were in prison and you wished your life to to escape. And when you finally did, your son was already dead and already changed. But at least be there for him now. Tell him maybe about your mistakes mm-hmm. of what could help him become a better shogun for a while. Yeah. You know, like don't just 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 hide out and regretting your sin. Mm-hmm. Do something about it. Be proactive. So I feel you on that. I mean, I feel like there's he can still do that while not revealing who he is um, to Momo. Like he can still be. An advisor to him with that mask on. I don't think he needs to. Like, I don't know that Momo's gonna be triggered in any way. I don't think even the people will be triggered in any way by revealing that he was alive the whole time because it's pretty. Like, he just explained that. I remember people on Discord were ripping him, yeah. and I was like, "Bro, he literally said I was captive like ninety nine yeah, percent of this time, and yeah. like I was released after Odin died. Like, you know, like I mm-hmm. I escaped. That had me thinking though. Do you have to be alive for somebody to use your face? That was my thought process. That's where my mind went. Because I was like, why did they keep him alive? That was my whole thing. Like, why did they keep him alive? They said he was dead, whatever. Mm. Do you have to be alive? Because, I ask, she had Shiki's face. Mm -hmm. Is Shiki alive? I mean, I know it was 20-something years ago, but is Shiki alive? Anyway, that's all besides the point. That's just where my mind was that's going a great with it. Point. I haven't heard that. But yeah, but that because I was like, yeah, why is he alive? There's, I was like, there's no reason why they would keep this man I alive. I literally talked to Par for like four hours the other day, and he didn't mention that. Damn, Par, <laughs> we're in a vision. <laughs> no, I'm there anyway. Damn, son. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in general, uh, I actually did th- think this exchange was dope. I loved Robin though, because she was like, "Yo, your dolls are ugly, and I don't <laughs> care about none of that yeah. you talking about." Was like, "Where's this poop?" She said, that? "I don't <laughs> care about none of that you talking about, old man." <laughs> We just fought these people. I got a dove. I don't care. Where the where the ponies? Yeah, where, seriously. Where Pluton at? <laughs> she said, and I wait. love that energy, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that was it was great to me. <laughs> she but, said, wait. But where's the Pluton? That right? is a huge reveal. I feel like we're, we're like skipping it kind of a little bit. Like, like Pluton's on this island. Yeah. So, like, it's just another one of those, like, end game things mm. that's, like, coming at us faster than we thought. Yeah. Like, I thought they'd find Pluton. I didn't think it would actually be on Wano. Mm. So, um... And I have my theory about the pony lift being in, in Mount Fuji. I've I just been wrong, man. Damn. Kaido knew where it was, though. Didn't he say he he had it? No, Kaido's still looking for it. Oh. So, like, Kaido, right there, bro. Yeah. He was right there. <laughs> yeah. Real quick, that, that, uh, that, uh, super donate to Super Chat. Oh, yeah. It was from Captain J. It Subs. was from Captain J. Subs. It says, yeah, Larry, I told you Buggy was like that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Buggy uh, gang. Anyway. We ain't there we yet, ain't but Buggy there, gang, yeah. man. So I did like the fact that Yamato's uh, experiencing the festival, and she's like hard eyes and just having fun with Luffy, which mm. I said was going to happen for her character. He would looks, bring her up, bro. And hey, look she look looks she more like a straw hat she than is. even Jimbei does, who kind of is like being an old man in the dining hall. Yeah. So that looked pretty good. I think any everybody kind of knew that Tengu Yama was going to be Kozuki Sukiyaki to a, a degree because that theory was floating around for a while, yeah. and it kind of just makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought the way they explained in the official translations his suffering better, yeah. and I do agree with you, Lawrence. To me, I feel like, bro, you should still come out to Momonosuke. You can also be another type of guidance mm-hmm. and lead him the right way where he has scabbards, who are trying to do just that? You right. would help the scabbards as well. Just don't get in the way mm-hmm. of his ruling. Yeah. I so I agree. Yeah. He even said it was tiring. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I think the anime is going to make that part look a little bit better, better and we're gonna feel his dread and misery and regret. Yeah. Right. So I think that's gonna be really dope. Now, the only question I have about the Robin and uh P- uh Pluton reveal is is Pluton a ship or is it Momonosuke? Because I wasn't always fond of the idea that people can always be ancient weapons. I thought the reason why Poseidon was Poseidon is because Poseidon's actually a reincarnation mm-hmm. of a mermaid that's you know inserted every few centuries that the Neptunians can talk to. But if it turns out Momo might be Pluton and can control Zunisha, that might be Pluton. I don't know, but Frankie had like yeah. blueprints. So can can it be like is Zunisha and Pluton 
a uh, Zoan devil fruit making more sense, or is it just like I don't know what Pluton is, so I'm kind of confused. They said that Frankie had the blueprints for Pluton, right? Yeah, he had the blueprints for, for Pluton. And it I was during Water Seven. He it learned has, it. So. It has to be at least a ship or something you could uh, make. I, or the thing is, I don't know at this point. Yeah. I'm confused because whatever is on Wano right now, there's no ship right. unless it's underground in the lava. Mm-hmm. That's like where else are you gonna hide this? Right. So I'm not too sure. But anyway, let's they said Odin's mama was strong. Yeah, <laughs> she had to look like the Don, right? Chris also said, "Damn, Larry talking about the anime." <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on. We got 20 minutes left. Uh, next, we go to the former uh, excavation camp Udon. These pirates are like are being drained by roots that have impaled them. We see King impaled and Queen impaled too. There's a guy stomping on Queen, telling him that. This figure warned king and queen not to test him. A guy in his position can't go around getting beat by pirate subordinates. They're just who he thought they were. Then we get the introduction of Greenbull, a.k.a. Ryo Kyugyu Aramaki. He tells another officer in the Navy not to tell Akainu of his progress. Greenbull says he loves Akainu's cut-no-corners attitude and hopes to hear you did good from him after taking Luffy's head. Did this Admiral's introduction live up to your expectations? And then we'll go with Lawrence and then Seb. Yo, I was like, this dude's a monster, like, pretty much right here. Because he's taking on the Beast Pirates, but also two calamities, and the two strongest calamities at that. Right? So they're not going to think, all right, the damage from the war. Right? But we also remember, it's been seven days, and they're Zohans. Right? And, like, the I'm thinking Queen should be in a better position because they got he got pummeled and he's a Zohan. Right? King... Maybe less because he got cut like uh, what was it three four times by Zoro, you know. His wing got clipped. Yeah, his wing got clipped. So like, all right, he may because also too, Lana would bring out who's healing them. But there's Zohan's recovery. So we're like, wait, but it's been seven days. Luffy and Zoro, especially Zoro, who's not a Zohan regular human, was in worse state than both of them, right? And he's granted he got he had a doctor, but he's a lot better. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking if they were like in a better position to fight. And he just soloing all of them with like easy. Like he said, Don't t- I told you not to test me. Like, and he's just washing them. I was like, what the heck? Cause I was thinking, <laughs> not to gun, but a kind would even do this. You know what I'm saying? To like uh, to a Vista and Marco. Yeah. He's like, oh hockey users, but like he didn't just say, yo, don't get in my way. I'm trying to take out Straw Hat. A kind didn't do that. He's just like, yo, don't don't test me. And then he started shutting them down. And it was like, I guess, like you said, the root root ability or tree ability or plant ability because he had a flower. So it's interesting what he, his ability has, but the fact that he's showing his monster strength, granted, it depends on the condition that they were in. And it, it was just gangster. Like, I, I was impressed with his strength and also, too. But I also have other things, but we don't have a lot of time. Mm-hmm. So I'll, uh, I'll go up. But, like, I was in with his introduction and how ruthless he is. And also, too, it's weird that he actually is trying to please a Kainu, right? Because I would just add this, well, in fact, before I'm moving on to uh, Sebastian is that because Fujitora, I want to add this, Fujitora's assignment was to bring in Luffy and Law. In fact, the kind of said, do not even come to a military base until you do so. And that's why he got mad when Fujitora showed up in Mori Joris because it's like, what are you doing here? I said, do not come back. Kick him out. He even told Greenbull to f- to kick Fujitora out or ha- fight him to kick him out to go get co- to capture Luffy and law, but Greenwood took it on his own. Just like, you know what? I'll I'll make you happy. I'll get I'll take out Luffy, bring you his head. Mm-hmm. So that's why you see like Greenwood's here. So yeah. All right, Seb. Um, <laughs> I was extremely impressed by Greenwood's appearance and what he did here. Um, I you know me, I've been a very big like admirals are closer to Yonko than most people think guy for like ever and me yeah. and Lawrence have argued about this for like ever and it's good to know I still don't think so it's good to know that I'm probably right because <laughs> I don't know are you that. kidding me I don't bro know about that, no. how much more proof do you need I don't, I don't know he about that no diff them no, like it's not low it's not low diff this is no diff seven <laughs> days not. after bro my real question is were they about to spin the block like were the, were the beast part were the <laughs> beast pirates like coming together to like to get it in like to, to fight yeah, and like com- he yeah. he crashed that, or were they going there to recover? Were they already locked up? Like I don't know. I again, I, I will probably need to animate it to elaborate more on that. Because I thought when I read it, like yo, are they like, were they about to go assembling or something? Assemble to attack 
assemble to regroup and attack the Straw Hats, which is what I thought. Yeah. Because they were loyal to Kaido. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Especially King and Queen. Yep. And for Greenbow to really just no yeah. diff them, bro, that's Yo. crazy. And I know it's a it's a matchup thing where like he's able to absorb like they were talking like Oris King's flames. Yeah, he's he vulnerable. absorbed right through his He body. absorbed the flames probably. Yeah. And made it so that he's vulnerable still. And he was absorbing them. The the queen comment about I look better fat like that was just that was crazy. He Smash said was like, I what? agree. I agree, bro. <laughs> I, so listen, y'all that. wouldn't understand. Y'all wouldn't understand. And the fact that he's an Akainu fanboy is just perfect. I don't That's think, cute. It's perfect to me. It's perfect. I love it. I love every bit of it. Green Bull, yo. Green Bull all day. Um, we got two super chats. You want to go? Yeah, go? do do the super chats first. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got a $8 super chat from Blake Lynch. It says, hey, boys, much love from Australia. If you can choose anyone to join the Straw Hats, who's joining? Anyone? Anyone. Um, like anyone in the show? Yeah, it doesn't clarify specifically. I'm going to be wrong, so that since law doesn't have a crew law. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, Anyone? It's got to be quick, John. Okay, I'll, I'll go real quick. I've always wanted to get a log here, so I'll keep you. Okay. Wiper. All right. Thank you for the super Wiper chat, bro. We got another super chat. Another one. Thank you so much. From Shout out to Australia, by the way. Yo, right? We in Australia. Uh, <laughs> another super chat from Peter Keenan. It says, weren't king and queen in prison? My guess is they weren't at full strength. That's very possible. Yeah. Right. That is very possible. That's like I'm saying condition they're in, yeah. But still. Seven days, I'm trying to think. So know. so for me, it kind of bothered me with the, the the introduction of Green Bull because I do want him to be on par with every other admiral that's been introduced in their crazy ways. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like Oda kind of, again, he's writing the Beast Pirates into the ground yeah. in a way because, to me, admirals are around Odin's level. Wherever Odin was, he's at the, they're at that level. Like, Odin could compete with an admiral for sure. You know what I'm saying? Zoro's just being able to handle Enma shows that Odin was stronger than the first commander. So I expect an admiral to be stronger than the first commanders. The one thing I didn't like was Oda decided to go, okay, so Zoans are known for their great endurance and durability, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're able to recover faster than anybody else. That's just a special trait that they have because of their devil fruit. Oda was like, nah. I'm throwing that all away. <laughs> but well, but hold on, hold on. It's been seven days. We're talking about not regular zones. Yeah. We're talking about ancient zones. So they're a level up from regular, right? Here's the thing. Kinemon got back up within like a couple of hours, and we all expected him to die. And he got hit by Kaido yeah. in hybrid form, if I remember correctly. Right? Back up. Survived. Able to go to the speech of Momonosuke and all that. Fine. Now we have another person, Zoro. Told that we had he had broken bones, basically. Mm-hmm. And he was tired out. He took medicine, double the damage. He got hurt worse by facing King. Mm-hmm. Got back up seven days later. We're talking about ancient Zoans. Their special trait is to recover yeah. their durability and their endurance. And you're telling me they still have bandages on their faces? I'm sorry. I didn't know that we were just accepting that these dudes were still hurt. Yeah. That's BS to me. I feel like... Did they have bandages on them? Yes. It, Let us it does show that they did put up a fight against Ryo Kyugyu because his pants are damaged. Mm-hmm. But the fact is... Ah, it could be a fashion sense. Yeah, it, could it could be a fashion be. sense. But again, it comes down to why are they still in bandages? We're not talking about Katakuri or we're not talking about Cracker. We're talking about Zoan... Devil fruit users. They're, I expect Luffy to get back up within these seven days because mm-hmm. he's a Zoan now. Yeah. But Zoro? Kenny Moon? And yeah. was, like, what? Huge problem for me. But we'll move on because we <laughs> still have more to go. I don't yeah. know if those are bandages, but cool. He has a bandage on his face. Who? King. That's not his hair? No. I still want the cheek on the cheek. <sighs> I'm blind. You're right. You got it. You got it. Anyway, that's, that's just, that was just a, a knock. And it, again, riding the beast pirates into the ground for no reason. But anyway. Should have been the Big Mom Pirates. Oh my God. <laughs> Finally, we see the festival, and everyone's enjoying themselves. Momonosuke thinks back to when Yamato caught Luffy after his clash with Kaido. Luffy told Momonosuke not to tell Wano about him. He doesn't want to be a hero. Kid rolls up 
and wants to fight Luffy, but Luffy casually brings him in and fireworks go off with their fists in the air. Sanji and Nami's smiling. Zoro is cheesing really hard. Raizo's crying. The Mink tribe are happy. Hyogoro is cheering. Kinemon and his wife are cups high. Tama and her servants are joyful. Beppo is yelling happily. And Killer is eating noodles through his mask. Kid slaps Luffy, Luffy's hand away and says he has no idea what's happening outside of Wano, but he shows him the newspaper and says, this is why I've come to eliminate you. Then we see Buggy, Shanks, Blackbeard, and Luffy as the new Yonko. Green Bull says that the festival sounds lively, but he's not in a mood to celebrate considering the outside world is one unholy mess right now. Tell me everything you feel about this. Law. <laughs> I started laughing because the way Luffy just treated Kid for like a second. <laughs> yeah. Like pretty much. We see the joyous occasion of all them uh, happy and enjoying <clears> the <throat> spirits. So I'm just going to breeze right through and get to the meat of it. All right. <clears throat> so Buggy is a Yonko. And I was just like, damn right. Oda would do something <laughs> stupid like this. I can't with Oda. He's such a troll. And I know he like he likes Buggy a lot as a character. He like, does like Buggy. Like, he does like Buggy, so he's gonna. And Buggy, we, we talked about in the past episodes. Like you two said it, Buggy always fails upward. Like he became essentially Bukai, and then boom, Yako. But this is my uh, like something must have happened, yeah. right? To make him because all the Shinji Bukai, right? Because we we're talking about what Shinji Bukai should be a Yako, right? I said Mihawk or or like whatever Doflamingo, but it was chosen Buggy, right? But we only we all know the lore around, but people believe around Buggy, right? But something must have happened because last time we checked, right? So I think wasn't Buggy being attacked by somebody? Yeah, yeah. right. It was and like a was vice scared. admiral coming from. Yeah. I don't remember who it was. He was scared. No, 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 not before that. Before that, because Buggy has his own business, right? He has his own business with something. I, I messed up. I forgot to go back because I was looking at something else. It's like the up. delivery service. Yeah, delivery like service, mm-hmm. right? And he had he has he had his like whole little. Uh, business running and he had a bunch of giants like pirates are way stronger than him right but there's a situation happening before it got announced that he was going to be attacked by uh the um the vice admirals like I don't being know like what you're talking about. I could be wrong I could be mixing them up but what either way to say? What like, something happened for Buggy to be called mm-hmm. a Yonko because in that state where he's in yes all right he could have been gathering stuff for two years because it was two years ago when he became a Sinjibukai. maybe all this time he's been bringing up his army because for some people, people tend to like Buggy. So he could have got a lot of followers, and then he's a businessman as well, grew his business to, I guess, reaching that state of a Yonko status because there is no reason at all, strength-wise or what he has, that should make him a Yonko. I guess maybe what he accumulated over those those two years, right? So to me, it should be explained. I don't know if always going to do it, but <laughs> something must have happened, especially then for Ado, everyone else. Ado, you just seen two Yonkos dropped. Right, but Buggy was chosen over. Out of all the Shinji Bukai that were released, and now they're uh, new balance for them, but Buggy was chosen over. Something more must have happened between those two years and even that spot then to escalate Buggy to this position. To Rango, like Shanks, uh, Blackbeard, and Luffy. Right? Because mm-hmm. you think about it, two youngers were just dropped. Buggy was nowhere to be found, but he was chosen over them. You know, mm-hmm. so I think I gotta go back and I'll do it maybe some other time, uh, and then I'm gonna bring it on the show. I'm gonna find out what happened in that situation of. To see why I could gather together to see what why Buggy would possibly been uh, you know appro- uh, but approved to this state of being a Yonko. And Brian Bo's coming for he said he's coming for war like pretty much uh, yeah like by himself. This is mad gangster, so I'm I'm curious to how it's gonna play out because uh, I hope Luffy's ready because he's <laughs> this dude is strong. He's looking strong, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't expecting this. Mm. I'll try to make my answer quick. Um, I thought the best panel of this chapter, and this was a great chapter to me, was uh, Kinemon and Otsuru raising their cups up. The fact that it was subtle, he didn't like I agree. drag it on. Just 1, I, I thought that was great. Um, that whole panel with them all partying was really, really great. Um, and I told y'all about Buggy, man. I said it a while ago. Buggy could be a Yago one day. Y'all ain't want believe me. I try to tell y'all. But <laughs> I do like, and it's something I brought up in the Discord. I like that the the four pirates that we have as Yonko now are actually pirates. Yeah. Like I said it before, Big Mom and Kaido are like politicians that are pirates by name. Like they're pirates, they have crews and stuff, but they act like politicians. They like acquire these territories and they stay there and they do, like, you know, they they make deals and trades. Like, 
Buggy is a pirate. He's always partying. Blackbeard is a pirate. He's always partying. Uh, Shanks is a pirate. Like these dudes actually sail and steal things, and they do pirate things. Fighting like party. treasure. Like Buggy looks for treasure. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like they they are pirates in more of a like essence of people being pirates. So I like that. That one chapter cover that Oda did for whatever cover story or whatever cover that was. Foreshadowing, go to again. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> crazy. I don't know what you're talking um, about. I'll send it to you. There's a volume chapter of literally <laughs> These all four, four of them, them, and then there's like a goat, a goat. in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. From like, from like, probably like 800 it's chapters. Like, ago. Yeah, it's a long time it's ago. It's a long time ago, bro. It's I a long time ago, that. man. But, um, yeah, but that's all I got. Green, oh, Green Bull walking and like the. The flowers and stuff going behind him. I said it before. I think he's gonna bring like greenery and food and crops back to Wano. Yeah. Um, because he's probably not a bad dude in general. He just works for the Marines. Uh, but I guess. Yeah, he's looking pretty dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I did like everybody um celebrating the way they did. Oh, that like the firework uh panel is probably the most beautiful panel. Uh, I really like that. I really love the Kenny Moan and wife moment. Perfect. Even though it's not expanded upon too much, it was just perfect because that's really what his goal was. So that was nice to see. When it comes to like <laughs> these four Yonko, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. When it comes to these Yonko, <laughs> it's like, it's like people are now taking, like, Oda's literally writing. He's writing in a great way to the point he's convincing people that he like Buggy actually has some strength. <laughs> so he's turning Buggy's gag into like real life. Where like people are now thinking like, oh, he can split atoms and create nuclear buggy bombs now. What? If he's awakening. And like people are really becoming like servants of Buggy. And I'm like, bro, you're literally falling in line like everybody yeah. else did in Impel Down. I was like, this dude is nothing. nothing. He's literally nothing. Now, you brought up a good point. Where's Boa? Where's Mihawk? What happened to them? The world is in an unholy mess by what Ryo Kyugu said. Mm -hmm. So I need to know what's happening out there. Yeah. Do I accept the pirates and the Yonkos being what they are? I have to at this point. Because if not, I'm just going to... I'm mm -hmm. not going to like what's going on. But it's good to see that Buggy's still failing upward. Mm -hmm. I will say this. Buggy, Usopp, Luffy all share one common thing. They bring people to their side and they gather together. And it's a special power that's been turned into a gag. And it's Luffy's the only one with the gag, that, but it's actually real. And Mihawk pointed that out during uh, the Summit War. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Uh, the last thing about Green Bull, right? So Green Bull coming through. <laughs> thank you, guys. Green Bull coming out and the grass is obviously growing while he's walking behind him was badass one. I don't know what anybody says about that, but that's going to be fire in the anime. Yeah. Even if it's bad anime. Um, I do think that right now, Kaido is stronger than Green Bull. Luffy is recovered, I guess, to a point where he can fight an admiral. And I think we've seen him do it to Fuji, right? Like in Dressrosa. And he tried to fight Fuji, but he wasn't strong enough to do so, so he had to end up leaving, right? But he also said he wasn't running anymore. So if Rikyugu comes through and Luffy's fighting at the level he's fighting at now... He's beating Ryukyu's ass, and I think that that's the first admiral we're going to see take an L. But it also explains how long is Wano now. Is Wano still in the third act? Are we going to go into the fourth, or are we going into a fifth one? Because the fifth one could be like a one chapter, like you know, and just end. So there's a lot of questions. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But I think that we shouldn't underestimate Luffy anymore. Like, the dude literally fought Kaido, even though it wasn't 1v1. It still was 1v1 at the end, mm -hmm. and Luffy won out. So it's going to be interesting because he's more used to his powers too now, right? Uh, I'll say this. Matchup-wise, low-key, like, Luffy, not a great matchup for Green Bull. I mean, we saw so, what happened with Crocodile, and he was doing the same things that Ryukyu was doing. Yo, and he lost twice. And, <laughs> like, then, he, what I'm saying. and, then, and then Luffy won. Yeah, eventually. But we're at the level where he so, can fight Kaido. We, we got to get the calls. Do and these, we can take that in the Yeah, Discord. do the super chats I real quick, chat. and then we'll do the uh, we, calls. We got a $3 super chat from Blake Lynch. Thank uh, you, Blake. Again, thank you so much. That says, Buggy's Awakening is going to be Hawks as hell. <laughs> Yo, it could be. I mean, I don't, I'm don't. i not subscribed to the Buggy is actually strong 
theory. Like when I, when I, I hope not. When I yeah. came for Buggy, it's because, because, because the yeah. gag is hilarious Yo, to me. Anybody who's just take him out, kid could just roll up on him right now, just wash his entire crew, and then he's cool. a new Yonko. Cool. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you for but, the question. Yeah. Uh, go to next I, I don't. I don't. I'm wondering what it could be, but I don't know. Uh, next question from Ace the Aces. Thank you, Ace. <laughs> Thank you. It says, yo, this is my first live show. Love you guys. I've listened to every episode to now. Keep up the good work. Ace. <laughs> Thank you so much, Appreciate Ace. you. Appreciate you, man. Seriously. If you're not in the Discord, please join the Discord. Please join the Discord. We're in there every day talking. The links man. are in the description of this video, by the yeah. way. And yeah. like the stream, guys. Yeah, like the don't stream. forget to like the stream. Ace, I hope you were liking. <laughs> uh, oh, and we, we got, got another super one chat. more super chat. Uh, there actually is no text, but it's from Pokey Mutual. It's a ten dollars super chat. Thank you hey, so much, Pokey Mutual. Thank you for the donation. Thank but you better say you something next time. <laughs> if not, come to our Discord and say something. But anyway, thank you guys, Marv. Let's take calls. Oh, so oh snap! Been, yeah, it's probably far. <laughs> All right, nice. It's probably far, bro. What's going on? This is that One Piece talk. Who are you and how are you? Yo, it's Par Vision. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. Par. <laughs> Par, what's going on, brother? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Love the stream. I just, I want to throw throw it back to the very beginning, the bounty talk. <laughs> so, so, here's an interesting idea. The thing is, Law's bounty should start at $5 billion. What do you think about that? I know you're gonna come up with some crazy one piece <laughs> nah, madness. He, his point is that the the devil fruit alone is worth five billion, and he has it. Exactly. So it's like I, I, I so get that. Weird? I get that. I get that. I just don't. Agree. His devil fruit was worth five billion, and then they know he has it, and he's starting bounties two hundred thousand. Isn't that really weird? Like this this fruit is worth more than Shanks. I think. I think when I think about it, it's if that fruit landed in the wrongest of hands, that's why it would be five billion. But since it landed in somebody that can't take their abilities to what they think it's capable of, that's why Damn. they have it on a lower bound. Damn, shots fired on law, bro. No, no, it's not that. Slander. No, hold on, hold on. I, I like law, but what I'm saying is maybe the previous user of that devil fruit did something insanely crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In comparison to what Law has been able to do with it, they took it that much farther I, I, in comparison. But I, I get that. Five I think billion to 200,000. It's That's 200 wild. million. It was 200 million. The, the first bounty. Oh, yeah, 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 200 million. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, 200 million. Par, you off your game today, man. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll say this. The the world government in general is just trash at like oh how they God. handle things. It's so bad. So like what one as soon as Law had the the devil fruit, I'd have been like, yo, five billion on them as whatever old and just get the kid, <laughs> and somebody could just yo go yeah. up. Yeah. But and, and, <laughs> and you know what else is weird? Why why make him a like why make him a warlord? Like you know he's his if his fruit is worth five billion, they want it really badly, and then they're just like, oh, you know what? He's immune to the world government also. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. what are we doing here? I, Laws I, thing. When I thought about that, I was like, damn, the Gorosei are really out here just making shit up. Just, yeah. Hold trash, on. Listen, listen, listen. Trash. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer, bro. But, but nah, but if any, my bad, Lawrence. But yo, if you're gonna have Law be a Shishibukai, yo, bring him in for a meeting and just take him out. Get the fruit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? But also, I sometimes like the, the world government can be very knowledgeable, but there's two things that they, they I'm pretty sure they don't know about law. One, he's from that village that they massacred. Uh, the white lad. The white they don't know he's from they, there. They might. And they don't know he's a D. Like they have, they, they don't have that knowledge. Doesn't does Sengoku know that now? Sengoku and knows that, but Sengoku's too. not. So Sengoku's not gonna share that. He's not telling that. He's not telling yeah. that kind of. Thing. Yeah. So I think with that knowledge, law bounty might have been. Might have been higher. But also, I feel like they a lot of times they they downplay it as in because they don't want to draw too much attention to it. Listen, they bro, the girls say suck. No, nah, that's <laughs> it. apparently far. They give lower bounties to people that deserve higher bounties <laughs> out here. So what they did with law, whatever it is, what it is. I'm still salty. Yeah, I just want to add to the Gorosei slander because, like, <laughs> it's real. It's not like we have to accept it by now. Like, there's no world where it makes sense that the fruit's worth $5 billion, And then they're like, you know what? Like, it's in this kid. We'll just give him 200 million and hope it comes back to us. You know, it's like, that's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah, the Gorosei ain't good, Par. But yo, Par, I got to take this next call, man. I'm so happy to hear yeah, from yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. 
Got to have you on the show again soon, man. Yo, hold on. Before you go, all right, did you decide when you're going to come through? I haven't yet. I haven't yet. All right. but, but it's happening. It's happening 100%. Okay, hit me up. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, you, all right, much love, Par. And we'll Talk to you on. later. Yeah, you too. All right, bye-bye. Uh, we just we got a super chat from Rose of Darkness 16. If Buggy can be a Yonko, then Marco isn't useless. <laughs> Facts. He's useless. Yeah. What's going on? This is that One Piece talk. Who are you and how are you? Hey, this is Ace of Aces. I said that uh, super chat. But I got uh, two questions for you guys. Yes, thank you for the super chat. What's your two questions? Yeah, no problem. So I'm rewatching One Piece with uh, one of my buddies at work. And he just got done with the Fishman Island arc. Mm -hmm. And it was when they're talking about the Noah and the Sea Kings. And the whole theory about how the red line has to be destroyed for the all blue and that Luffy is going to destroy Fishman Island. You think that that's the purpose of the Noah is to bring all the Fishman up? 1000%. Yeah, I do agree too. 1000%. That's my mindset. It's just, it's an arc. It's, you know, biblical lore, it was used to carry people from destruction to their salvation, um, two by two with animals, with whatever. But, yeah. like, I just see that. Like, it's called Noah's Ark. It's giant. They need it for a reason in the future. He, if he was prophesied to destroy the island, the red line, like, it just makes too much sense, mm. right? And ultimately, I just don't see Luffy letting the fish... Ma- I, See, a part of me likes it because it's like the fishmen get to live in the actual scene of the real sun. But, like, that is technically their home. Like, I, I like that they will be able to do both. Mm-hmm. But yeah. true freedom, not yeah. partial freedom. Yeah. And also, too, I believe, I believe it was the promise that the, uh, the said Joe boy at that time was supposed to, their promise was to bring the fishmen to the service using Noah's Ark. And I guess Luffy's supposed to, you know, be in the drill by now to fill that promise. Which also, I understand it, but to me, just swim up. You guys are fishermen. I don't, I don't <laughs> see why you need an ark. <laughs> you know? I know. Like, 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 they're like, like, like 10,000 meters below sea, bro. But you're fishermen like fish and mermen. Yeah, I can... <laughs> The best swimmer is, I, I don't know. It's just, I'm just, do yeah, I need a ship underwater to go uh-huh. up? I don't, I don't get it. But Ace, anyway. in the chat, they're saying you have the best NPR voice they've ever heard. Hey. Oh, yeah? <laughs> hey, maybe that's my new career. Hey, I right. support it. Ace, what's your second question? Because you said you had two. So my second question is, I guess it's more of a statement, but I know you guys don't watch the anime, but the most recent episode that came out for the anime they actually showed uh, Marco oh my God. pulling his weight with the Indian <laughs> Queen. Oh, my so, God. I mean, <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> wait, wait until you get slumped. Oh, then, my yeah, God. Wait, yeah, get, yeah. wait until you get slumped. Surrounded and then by we'll, hate. we'll see where that hype goes. Yeah. Hey, so you, you support Marco? Yeah, I think he's pretty badass. Thank you, man. They he's don't a, get it. Hey, I just read where they confirmed that he was Whitebeard's right-hand man. Let down. Right. Anyway, okay, okay. Ace, I want to say thank Let you down. for the super chat. I really appreciate it. And uh, are you in our Discord? No, not yet, but I'm about to join. Yeah, hey, please yeah. join because, yo, it's been popping lately. So I think you'll definitely <laughs> enjoy it. But thank you so much, man. I hope to hear from you soon again. Yeah, keep up good work, guys. I'll catch you later. All, All right, later, guys. Yeah. Have a good one. Nah. We, uh, right. One more phone call. Yeah. Did we get a super chat or not? We did um, from Jack Y, but it, the message was retracted. So oh, thank maybe, you, Jack Y. Maybe thank Jack you. was tripping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> appreciate you, Jack. Any more calls, Marv? No. Oh, yeah. man, it's cool. like a minute left. Yeah. Buggy gang, man, we did it. Nah, no buggy gang, bro. <laughs> the bombastic genius. Yo, you genius can just tell that he's gesture. not weak. You know how the Yonkers have overwhelming presence and you're able to sense how strong they were? They're going to be like... Say. What, this is it? Well, this is... All right, so this is going to go on Parvision's One Piece Madness Theory real <laughs> mm-hmm. quick. There is a chance that... Don't do any phone calls right now, Mark, because it's basically almost over. There is a chance, and this is going to sound insane that I'm saying this. There is a chance that Buggy probably has a form of Conqueror's hockey. <laughs> now, I am not... Hold on, Lawrence. I Lawrence, I Lawrence. When it comes to power scaling, me and you think alike a little bit, right? <laughs> what I am saying is that it's this the, is goofball material. It's the best but episode ever. The fact that, like, <laughs> like you said, people who have hockey can sense other people who have hockey, right? Yeah. It's just innate. Like Rayleigh was able to tell 
who how many beasts on the island were stronger than Luffy himself, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The fact is, it's like Buggy himself, which is ridiculous. Oh, we just oh Captain J. So he said Buggy Gang. <laughs> buggy Gang. <laughs> what what yeah. I'm trying to say is that maybe like he has a different like type of conqueror's hockey that necessarily doesn't fit into the conqueror's hockey realm, but it borders. It borderlines on the ability to attract people to him where they can't really sense his hockey because it's kind of like a hockey of camouflage. Yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? Wow, like it blends into the environment so they think that he's more than he actually is, but like maybe Conqueror's hockey, there's subclasses. Like the same way Devil Fruits have subclasses. So like he may, like I hate this idea by the way, <laughs> but he may have a uh, conqueror's hockey that isn't the form that Big Mom has or Kaido has or Luffy has or Ray Lee has or even like Doflamingo has or Chin Zhao has. He has a form that's probably like super diluted. Like you know how like milk is very hard? He mm -hmm. has like fat free milk. <laughs> like it's just water Bro, at that point. Just no. So what I'm trying to say is the dude sucks, <laughs> but there might be a reason as to why this gag even allows him to not be sensed mm -hmm. by other hockey users. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of make sense? Like, I, will you get what I'm saying? I love that Oda has done this. And, and I hate it. You had to say that just now. Yo, I have to say That's it. The I, best because thing. it's retarded. Like, it doesn't make yeah. sense. He has it for plot reasons. There's something in the reason why his storyline, where it fits into it. Why he has buggy in place in it? That's the only reason. He, I think he, I think he did it more for more for tro not for trolling, but like. <sighs> A more in a storyline where it fits in his storyline why he's in. That's, we got one right. more super chat before we go. Uh, it says Buggy with Cocker sounds so hot, Buggy Gang. From Blake Lynch, that's what I'm talking about. I should have just kept that to myself. <laughs> you bro, you anyway, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's in the chat. Uh, we reached like 85 people, I think. Amazing. Hey. Please like the video for us. Um, also, we are going to be having our next episode Monday at 6 p.m. And we are going to be going phone calls only. So that means, please, come up with your wildest questions and ask us those questions. Other than that, everything in the description of this video is a link. If you're not in our Discord, please join it. Uh, Parvision's also in the Discord, so you can talk to him directly, and then you can join his Discord. Also, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my hearts. Every time we do an episode, Aww. I feel so grateful, and I know these guys do too. Uh, we're going to start doing different content because I did purchase a computer and a camera. So I haven't told them yet. But I'm going to show them, and then we're going to start contemplating some interesting ideas. So, for the meantime, I just want to say <laughs> thank you. My name is Larry. Lawrence. Sam. And this is That One Piece Talk. Jana! Yeah. <laughs>